Welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. EWTN's founders, our beloved Mother Angelica, first brought this program into the homes of EWTN viewers in 1996. Since then, Religious Catalog has offered thousands of Catholic products, including good books, beautiful religious art, rosaries and medals, statues of Our Lord, Our Lady, the saints, and crucifixes, all designed to enrich our spiritual lives. Religious Catalog is also your source for many of the favorite programs seen here on EWTN, including exclusive series, specials, live shows, and feature films. I hope you have a blessed reminder of the love of Jesus in your house and in your heart. Hello and welcome to EWTN's Religious Catalog. I'm Johnette Benkovic, host of Women of Grace, and I'm here with Debbie Calden. Debbie is the producer for the program At Home with Jim and Joy. You know, Debbie, I'm very, very eager for this program today because we're going to be featuring a lot of items that help for us to increase our devotion to our Blessed Lady in light of the Grace Feast Day that's coming up. Absolutely, and I'm a big fan of St. Bernadette, so I'm really excited to talk about the items that we have today. Yes, I am too, so want to get started? Absolutely. Okay, so here we go, friends. You know, the Feast of Our Lady of Lourdes is next week on February 11th. In 1858, St. Bernadette Subaru, a French peasant girl, saw apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Since that time, Lourdes has become the most visited Catholic shrine in the world and the site of countless miracles. We have commemorated this beautiful beautiful, beautiful feast day by offering you resources that help you to learn more about Our Lady of Lords, more about St. Bernadette, and to increase your devotion to Our Lady as your spiritual mother. We can begin with this lovely statue that we have here. Now, this is this is quite, quite elegantly portrayed. This beautiful statue of Our Lady of Lords is hand-painted with great attention to detail. It measures 13 and a half inches high. I think that one of the defining features about Our Lady in this particular statue is the serenity on her face and the sweetness of her face. It's one of the first things I look at when I am purchasing a statue. I want to see what is the representation of that person portrayed given to us in the facial expression. And this facial expression is quite sweet. Another remarkable detail are the, uh, uh, the chain that she's got in her hands here. And you're going to notice that each one of these is individually done. Uh, I just think it's beautifully, beautiful beautifully portrayed and one that will enhance your home. We also have a statue that depicts that great moment in, in our Catholic history and in our faith when Our Lady appears as St. Bernadette. And here we have both Our Lady and St. Bernadette Subaru in this lovely statue. It measures 10 and a half inches high. Now this is such a beautiful aid in meditation as we contemplate Mary's visit to the young Bernadette. And again, I draw your attention to their faces. Now I'm hoping you can see uh, Bernadette's face because she's looking at Our Lady with such love, such devotion. And what I see expressed in her is this awe of who it is that's before her and this intimation of the heart that I'm certain she was receiving as she looked and gazed into the face of our Blessed Lady, Our Lady looking down at her as if she's the only person on the face of the earth. You know, that is so true of God the Father. He sees you as if you were the only person on the face of the earth. And I think that our Blessed Lady, spouse of the Holy Spirit, who is reflected through her eyes, looks at you exactly the same way. This lovely little statue can recall that very important truth about ourselves and how important we are in the eyes of God and why it is that he sent our son just for you and just for me. It's important for us to learn about the lives of the saints because they can inspire us in so very many ways. And this particular book on St. Bernadette Subaru is given to us by Abbe Francois Truchou. This twofold story of the apparition of the Blessed Virgin Mary at Lourdes in 1858 and the story of the 14-year-old peasant girl who saw her, St. Bernadette, leads us into an experience vicariously in our hearts of what took place then. The story also covers Bernadette's hidden life as a nun at her convent in Nevers. People regard this as the best book on St. Bernadette and Lourdes. The book features 69 photographs, including photos of St. Bernadette's incorrupt 
body. What a marvelous way to learn more about a very holy saint and to learn more about our Blessed Lady. In addition, we have another book for you on the life of St. Bernadette of Lourdes. It's called Holy Life, and it's all about her. It's given to us by Patricia McEachern, and while the apparitions of Our Lady of Lourdes are very well known, relatively few people are familiar with St. Bernadette's own spiritual insights and profound holiness. I know as a child when I watched the film that was produced all those many years ago, my heart thrilled as a little girl, and that thrill remains when I consider the beauty of the soul of this great saint. This book presents a wide selection of St. Bernadette's thoughts thoughts, advice, and prayers through the words of her spiritual diary, her notes, and her letters. Remembering that she was a peasant girl and yet was able to capture in her heart such profound truths reminds us that through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can enter so deeply into the heart of God the Father, into the Trinitarian life, all through the intercession of Our Lady. I know this will certainly inspire you. We also have for you a DVD on the life of St. Bernadette. I'm going to hold this up for you. Let me just take this here. Um, it is simply entitled St. Bernadette of Lourdes. It is a beautiful story of the humble 14-year-old girl from a small village in the south of France who became a very great saint. This movie is set in stunning locations and features a rich musical score and a cast of over 160 Catholic children. This film is suited for the whole family. The running time is 77 minutes. Now I told you how that first original uh, picture was given to us through the movies of St. Bernadette, and I am certain that this is going to enhance the lives and the holiness of your children, your grandchildren, and dare I say, you too. So it's something well worth getting. And St. Bernadette is somebody who we really should be looking into more and we should be learning more about because she was a 14-year-old peasant girl, and that's a great reminder to us that we are never too young for God uh, to use us in great ways. We are never too young to be saints. And like Mother Angelica says, we're all called to be great saints and we shouldn't miss that opportunity. So I wanna share with you some ways that we can grow in our devotion to the Blessed Mother. Um, the first item I have is a rosary because I'm a big fan of rosaries. And this is a Lord's rosary with a relic. And so this rosary is made of clear crystal glass beads with a polished pewter center and crucifix. And the centerpiece, which features an image of Our Lady of Lourdes and St. Bernadette, holds a third-class relic from the grotto on the back. And it also comes with a rosary prayer card. It's so pretty. It's beautiful. And the Aurora Borealis finish on the beads just captures the light. Absolutely. Next item I have is the Our Lady of Lourdes medal. And the front of this sterling silver medal shows St. Bernadette kneeling at Our Lady's feet and the words, Our Lady of Lourdes, pray for us sinners. The back of the medal features Mary's words to St. Bernadette, I am the Immaculate Conception, and the prayer, St. Bernadette, intercede for us. The medal measures three quarters inches, and it's on a 24 inch chain. And I have another medal for you. This is the Lord's Medal with Water from Lord's. And this beautifully detailed medal is made of nickel silver and has a touch of blue enamel accents around um, Our Lady in St. Bernadette. It's absolutely beautiful. It's another one of those medals that really catches attention. Now, if you look at the back of the medal, you'll see that it holds Lord's water from the miraculous spring. And this medal also measures approximately three quarter inches in diameter and it comes on a 20 inch stainless steel chain. It's very unique. And it's a great holy reminder too. And next we have the Chaplet of the Immaculate Conception. Now the Blessed Mother told St. Bernadette, I am the Immaculate Conception. And this declaration identified the beautiful lady who appeared to St. Bernadette as the Blessed Virgin Mary. This Chaplet of the Immaculate Conception consists of three groups of four beads, and a single bead separates each of the sets of beads. And a medal of the Immaculate Conception is attached to the end. Now this prayer was composed by St. John Birchmans, who recited it daily to obtain, through Mary's intercession, the grace to never commit any sin against the virtue of purity. These beads are eight millimeter facet cut cobalt blue glass. And this chaplet comes with a beautiful prayer card that has instructions too. 
You know, it occurs to me that you were a youth minister for a period of time, weren't you? Yes, ma'am. Yes. And, you know, I was thinking as you were holding up that beautiful chaplet uh, for the Immaculate Conception that wouldn't this make a marvelous gift for young people today when the virtue of purity is so under attack? I mean, here is this holy saint, St. John Birchmans, who prayed it every day, asking Our Lady to safeguard him against temptations of the flesh. And today, I think very little is spoken to our children about the beauty of the gift of chastity. Absolutely. And it's not a full-size rosary. It's just a small chaplet. So it's something that they can keep in their pocket with them. It doesn't take a long time to pray. So it really would be helpful for young people to develop the habit of praying this chaplet. You can even pray it as a family too. Um, if, your, if your daughters have um, friends that are Catholic, they can pray it with them. Um, it really is important to develop a devotion to Our Lady and also the saints who um, who are defenders of purity. So yeah. I think this is a great gift. You know, and sometimes we get calls and questions through uh, our Women of Grace live radio broadcast as well as through email regarding the way in which parents can begin to practice prayer in the home if they haven't before. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that there's any wrong time to introduce family prayer. Certainly, however, if you start the little ones with these kinds of prayers, then this is something that is working in them all through their young lives and developing in them, you know, and at age appropriate moments, you can explain more and more to them about the virtues that they are practicing or praying for the grace to practice, you know? Absolutely, and you have some items that will help with that, right? I do, I do, I do, and I'm so excited about it. I am very, very pleased to see uh, that we are offering this lovely book by Father P uh, Patrick Greenow. It's called The Immaculate Conception. Now, the time that he wrote this book, he was the head of the uh, Militia of the Immaculata here in the United States of America, and I had the blessed privilege of interviewing him on Women of Grace along with Patty Gallagher Mansfield. We were talking about Our Lady. I love to do programs on Our Lady. I just love it. And in this book, he explains the history and the theology of the Immaculate Conception, how appropriate when we're talking about this lovely feast day. Uh, and he also shares for us everything that it's meant to mean for us and the way in which Holy Mother Church wants for us to increase our understanding and devotion to Our Lady under this title. Um, Father Greenall also discusses other teachings on the Blessed Virgin Mary in this book. Now, he is also one who is consecrated to Jesus through Mary, and so that comes through loud and clear, and it's an abundance Constantly readable little book, but it contains great truths that will lead us into an ever deepening time of prayer. And you know, I've always found too, Debbie, in my own prayer life, that when I ask Our Lady to be with me in that prayer time, and I ask her to take me into maybe the mysteries of the rosary that I'm praying, Mother, please open these up and unpack these for me. Show me, you know, what was this to your son? What was this to you? How is this still present to us in this eternal moment? You know, I find through the course of the day that she intimates little things and you see things happening and you know that your mother was with you during prayer. This book is a marvelous little book, friends, to take into your time of prayer. In addition, my goodness sakes, we should all have beautiful images in our home. Holy reminders, as Mother Angelica calls them, that take us into this growing life of faith. I remember when I was a little girl, one of our priests said to us this, he said, children, could anybody tell you were Catholic if they walked into your home? And of course we knew just what he meant. Was there something on the wall, something on a table that spoke of our Catholic faith? Well, when we consider that, shouldn't we have Our Lady there at the heart of the family? I want to point out to you this lovely framed image of the Immaculate Conception. This print is a replica of the famous work of Bartome Esteban Murillo. This presentation is printed on high quality textured artboard and is displayed in a gold wood frame. As you can see, it's a very lovely frame. It would fit in with any decor. It measures 19 and a half inches by 26 and a half inches, and it's made in the USA. And this is a very famous image. I'm sure, Debbie, you've seen this so many times. It graces prayer cards and holy cards, uh, all kinds of different ways in which we see this image replicated for us. It is a beautiful one. Yeah. And you see how Mary's eyes are gazed up toward heaven. Well, she is in heaven. Her eyes, her eyes are gazed up toward God. And it's a beautiful reminder for us to always keep our eyes focused on God. And we see that. Um, that we can go to Jesus through Mary. Yes. I think it's beautiful. I do too. And she's standing on the crescent moon. And if you take a look, I mean, it's just surrounded by all of these little angels. And they're gazing up at our Blessed Lady because the angels recognize her. I mean, we remember that, right? Mm -hmm. from, from Luke's Gospel when Gabriel came and 
he knelt. Why? Because she was the mother, uh, was going to be the mother of our Lord as soon as she gave her fiat. He knew who she was in the plan of God. And these little cherubim, I like to think of, are all seeing that very, very same reality about her. We also want to help you to explain to your young ones about St. Bernadette and who she is. And I'd like to show you these DVDs that we have just for them. Now, this is uh, the DVD. Uh, Bernadette, the Princess of Lords. This animated video is the true story of a visit by Mary to this poor young girl in Lords, France. Has Bernadette, poor, sickly, and always behind in school, really seen a lady from heaven? Your children will soon find out as they are introduced to this miraculous story. The running time is 30 minutes. It will captivate them from start to finish. And you know, may I say it's going to captivate you too, <laughs> right? Because these are so beautifully done. Another lovely film for you for your children is My Time with Jesus, the Blessed Virgin Mary. This too is a DVD and it's an original EWTN animated series, a great way to teach your children all about Our Lady. Four children time travel back to New Testament days to take part in the gospel stories they love and learn prayers, teachings and traditions of the Catholic faith along the way. In this particular episode, the children journey back to the wedding feast at Cana. Oh golly, I would like to travel back there. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Oh my goodness, it would be grand. Maybe in heaven we'll get a glimpse of it. Anyway, I digress. And when they get back to Cana there, they see the important role Our Lady plays in her son's first miracle. The children learn how to pray the Memorare, a beautiful prayer to the Blessed Mother, and they learn all about the Holy Scapular. I'm sure they're going to ask you for one, so be sure to order those through EWTN Religious Catalog too. You can have them all ready for them at the end of this viewing. The DVD includes English and Spanish versions. The running time is 30 minutes, just about the attention span that would suit most children. Right. These are great practical tools for helping children develop a closer devotion to Mary um, and help them grow together as a family. But I have a couple resources too that will help give parents practical ways to strengthen their family through their own vocation of parenthood and marriage. Yeah. And so here I have first this book that is featured on EWTN Bookmark. It is Joseph's Way, The Call to Fatherly Greatness by Devin Schott. Now society goes by way of the family and the family goes by way of the father. So if you want to change the world, you need to change the human father. Now this is the first of a two volume series which transmits the biblical vision of fatherhood, its necessity, its glory, and its irreplaceable effect on families and society. It is a tough, bold, game-changing challenge to men of our age to pursue fatherly greatness as it provides fathers with invaluable practical tools and profound spiritual insights. This is one of my husband's favorite books. Father John Paul recommended it for him and he takes it into the chapel here when he reads um, or when he goes to pray and this book has changed him. Yeah. It is a fantastic resource and he's only in his 20s and he's been changed by this um, and this really is how we're going to transform our culture. Well, and, and let me just interject if I can that, that there are some theologians who have deeply studied St. Joseph, though he's very briefly mentioned in sacred scripture and utters not one word. There is much to be said in his silence and much to be given to us in his example. And many of them are saying that we have entered into a time now where the role of St. Joseph is going to become paramount in the life of the church. And I think it's interesting because if you think back to uh, the uh, moment that Our Lady appeared to the children in Fatima, the Holy Family appeared. So I think that there might be something to be said about that as we approach the 100th anniversary. So I would highly recommend this to every man that's viewing today. And if your husband isn't viewing or your son isn't viewing or your boyfriend isn't viewing or your fiance isn't viewing, get it for them. <laughs> Absolutely. It comes highly recommended by husbands. Mm -hmm. And I have one more book, and this is the book that's featured on Johnette's show, Women of Grace. It's titled, 10 Ultimate Truths Girls Should Know. Now, when Carrie Kampakis posted a blog post titled, 10 Truths Young Girls Should Know, the post went viral and was shared 74,000 times on Facebook and pinned 20,000 times on Pinterest. So obviously her message strikes a chord, and I can see why, because she has four daughters. 
this, so she knows what she's talking about. Now, this nonfiction book for teen and tween girls expands on these 10 truths and can reach the hearts of both mothers and daughters. Teen girls deal daily with cliques, bullying, rejection, and social media fiascos. And Carrie wants girls to know that they don't have to compromise their integrity or their future to find love, acceptance, and security. And so the 10 truths that she talks about in this book include how kindness is more important than popularity. People peak at different times of their life, and so you need to trust God's plan for you. Today's choices set the stage for your reputation and much, much more. And this book is filled with practical advice, loving support, and insightful dis discussion questions. Um, I actually got this book from my little sister who is 17. And so 10 Ultimate Truths Every Girl Should Know is a timely, approachable list of guidelines that will help young girls navigate a broken world and become the young women God called them to be. And let's remember that our best service that we can offer families is to gently share God's truth with them and to pray for them. We should pray daily for all of our loved ones, for their health, for their happiness, but most importantly for their spiritual lives. And we also should remember that God loves them infinitely more than we do. And Gosh, these resources are so great. We're, <laughs> they are. We're touching on fatherhood, um, motherhood, and their connection with their daughters, becoming saints at even a young age. I just think that these are fantastic resources. Oh, they are. And you know, all of us are called to be great saints. And I was thinking of the tie-in between Carrie's book and the feast coming up that celebrates Our Lady of Lords and the saint uh, that was instrumental in making her known, Saint Bernadette of Subaru, uh, a beautiful young woman. And this can help for parents to uh, give their daughters everything they need to become a young woman today who is after the heart of God. So yeah, I'm telling you, what what to say? There's just so many good things that are available right here at EWTNRC. What do you know to say? Go to EWTNRC.com, that's where you can get all of these items. <laughs> very good, very good send off. That's where we want you to go. Yeah. <laughs> So let's give you the opportunity to order from EWTN Religious Catalog. And again, you can go out to EWTNRC.com. We're going to first talk about Our Lady of Lords, and I'm going to give you the item numbers and the prices. This is that lovely 13 and a half inch statue. The item number is 65854, and it is $45. Next, we have Our Lady of Lourdes in St. Bernadette's statue with the sweet, sweet expression on St. Bernadette's face. Its item number is 42161, and it is $44. We next have the book, St. Bernadette's Subaru, item number 1014 for $27. The next book, A Holy Life, has an item number of 116X, and it is $15. The St. Bernadette of Lourdes DVD is item number 6811D, and it is $20. Next, we have the Lourdes Rosary with Relic. That is item number FP7CR, and it is $18. And we have the Our Lady of Lourdes Sterling Silver Medal item number S3560, and that is $49. We have the Lord's Medal with Lord's Water, item number 569LD, and that is $15. And we have the Chaplet of the Immaculate Conception, item number 90C, and that is $7. We also have for you the book, The Immaculate Conception, written by Father Patrick Greenow, item number 5094, and it is $6. The Salt Immaculate Conception framed artwork is item number 9595, and it is $70. Bernadette, Princess of Lords animated DVD is item number 1920D and it's $15. My Time with Jesus, another animated presentation for children about the Blessed Virgin Mary is item number HDMTJM, and it is $10. And featured this week on EWTN Bookmark, we have a gift for all the men in your life, Joseph's Way, The Call to Fatherly Greatness, 
It's item number 4207, and it is available for $17. And featured this week on Women of Grace, we have 10 Ultimate Truths Girls Should Know, and that book is $13. And remember, to place your order, you can visit EWTNRC.com. We accept Visa, MasterCard, Discover, and American Express. It's safe and secure 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And you can order these items by going to EWTNRC.com or by calling 1-800-854-6316. Debbie and I both wish you a holy, happy, and safe week. And until we are together again, may God richly bless you. Bye-bye now. When Mother Angelica founded EWTN Religious Catalog, she hoped we would be the most widely known and trusted source for religious articles and other items to help our viewers deepen their knowledge and understanding of the Roman Catholic faith. You have many choices when deciding where to purchase Holy Reminders. Every purchase made directly supports the important work and mission of EWTN. We sincerely appreciate your choice to support us through your purchases from Religious Catalog.